H cuticles, H cucumbers, H cupids, H cudobas, H cuban sandwiches, H cutie pies. In the HQ justice system, the H cuties interact with two separate yet equally important groups. The questions, which posit an inquiry, and the answer, which the players answer. These are their stories. And this is HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. I'm your host with the stash and the beard, Scott Rogowski, AKA the Quizard of Waverly Place. Live and loving it from the greatest city on earth, the city that never sleeps, Watkins Glen, New York. Packing my bags for the Misty Mountains with all 1,080,000 of you, including Dan Curry, Nick Visco, The Dot 10, Audrey Cronk, J. Ben Harris, and happy birthdays to Alexa Baker, Kristen, and Jolie Goldstein. Now listen up, punks. I'm asking 12 questions and I want answers. Give me answers to all 12 correctly and you win real money. Today's prize is 2,500 Drew Dowdies, 2,500 Dion Phaneufs, 2,500 bucks, you Canucks. That's enough to buy you 2,300 hockey pucks. Haven't you always wanted 2,300 hockey pucks? All right, enough with the yucks. Let's get serious. It is time to put away your childish things. Time to render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. And to HQ, your undivided attention for the next 12 minutes because it's time to quiz with me and get some money. It is time to get down to the nitty gritty. Time to get this show on the road. We have 1.1 million players. Cumero numero uno. Cheese is traditionally considered part of which food group? Tropical fruits, dairy, or sushi delivery orders? 1.1 million of you live around the world right now. Getting some milk and some enzymes and maybe some acids together, saying cheese, which belongs to the dairy group. Of course, dairy is your answer. And 1.1 million, 5,045 of you are real crowd cheesers, are dairy queens and kings. The rest of you forgot to take your lactate. Jesus crust. Q2, what 1930s movie monster famously climbed the Empire State Building? King Kong, the mummy, or Dracula? Now this wasn't one of those charity events where you like run up the stairs of a tall building, no. This monster was climbing up the face of the building with fake ray in his hands, swatting the prop planes. Come on, it's Kong, King Kong. Yes, the great ape. 1,088,507 of you surviving this one, the rest stranded on Skull Island, but we have 1,088,000 headed to Candy Apple Island. What do they got there? Apes, but they're not as big. Q3, which of these words is not a synonym for a fight? Galumph, fracas, or Donnybrook? Not a synonym, so two of these are synonyms for a fight. Q3, fight. We got a dust up here, a scrum, a skirmish, fisticuffs, a fracas, an old fashioned Donnybrook, but not a galumph, because that's a verb meaning to stomp around in a clumsy manner, like 674,000 of you just did on our first savage question of the evening, folks. Randy Macho Man Savage coming in hot here at Q3. We are left with 382,150, but over 675,000. Well, you wanna fight? You wanna fight me? Meet my friends Miriam and Webster. Q4, the two sides of a coin are technically called what? Advert, convert, prefix, suffix, or obverse, reverse. Two sides of the same coin, man. That's all this is. Next time your friend says heads or tails, you can say, don't you mean obverse and reverse? And then you can find new friends because no one likes a pedant. But you'll have a friend in me because you got this right, 260,547 of you flipping tops over tails like a bad penny you keep turning up. You are right on the money for Q5. What is the direct object in the sentence, your cousin stole my sandwich? Cousin, you, or sandwich? What we have here is a grammatical question. Going back to elementary school. The thieving cousin is the subject and stole my sandwich is the predicate. The direct object received the action of the verb. So in this case, that would be the much missed sandwich. Yes, Sammy for the Winnie, 189,706. Are the Earls of Sandwich tonight? Mmm, open-faced club sandwich. 
Q6, which Denzel Washington film was based on a Pulitzer Prize winning play? Fences, Devil in a Blue Dress, or Philadelphia? Na 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 na. On the streets of Philadelphia. Which seems to have been inspired by true events, so that's not the answer. Devil in a Blue Dress, Blue Dress, well that was a novel first, but Fences! That was based on a play of the same name by the August August Wilson and 87,339 know it. It won both a Pulitzer Prize and a Tony in 1987, of course, the movie, not too long ago, not Hidden Fences, Fences, great film. Q7, what nickname was given to the New York City's 28th Street between 5th and 6th Avenues? Five Points, Diamond District, or Tin Pan Alley? This was a stretch of New York City between 5th and 6th on 28th. A long time ago. Well, yeah. Five points. Well, that was too long, too long ago. That was a neighborhood neighborhood near Canal and the Bowery. The gangs of New York, five points. My diamond dogs who chose Diamond District. Well, that was down in Lower Manhattan before moving up to Midtown. No, I'm talking about the birthplace of countless classic American tunes, Tin Pan Alley. Where's my Irving Berlin, George Gershwin, Cole Porter heads at? 29,075 of you are saying, hello, my baby, hello, my darling, hello, my ragtime gal. To Q8, what 20th century comic strip spun off a theme park in Arkansas? Lil Abner, Pogo, or Peanuts? Send me a kiss by, by wire, baby, my heart's on fire, on fire. For much of the 1900s, the very idea that hillbillies existed was considered hilarious. And though it's now eerily abandoned, an entire family vacation destination was once themed around Al Cap's influential satire of rural America, Lil Abner, of course, in Arkansas. And 16,252 of you saying, Woo Pig Suey! To Dog Patch USA, that was the name of the place. Rest in peace from 1968 to 1993. Dog Patch USA. We're cruising USA to Q9. What kind of song likely gets part of its name from the French word for sing? Sea shanty, power ballad, or Christmas carol? Yes, this is a little, uh, little bit of fun translation here. Fun with French. Ballad and carol both go back to old French words meaning a kind of dance accompanied by song. But sea shanty is believed to derive from the French verb chanter to sing Shanty, chante, chante, shanty. 6,209 of you are saying, chante, you stay. The rest, sachet, away. We got Q10. The director of HBO's The Jinx co-founded what company? The Smoking Gun, Ancestry.com, or Movie Phone? The Jinx. The Durst Man. Limp Biscuits, Robert Durst. No. The Jigs, crazy, crazy series on HBO. Andrew Jarecki is a director of such feel-good family films like Capturing the Freemans and The Jinx. He helped start this iconic pop culture company. Hello, and welcome to Movie Phone. Why don't you just tell me the name of the movie you'd like to see? 2,462 of you are saying yes to the dress. You got this one right. If you'd like to see Q11, press 1 now. Which nation's capital is right on the shore of the Caspian Sea, Turkmenistan, Iran, or Azerbaijan? Oh, to be Prince Caspian. Float upon the waves. Prince Caspian, Caspian Sea, it's all related, right? Iran, the capital, Tehran, is not all that far from the Caspian, but the Alborz Mountains are in the way. Oh, those mountains! And if the Turkmen of Ashgabat want to go for a swim, they better plan a road trip. Only the Bakuvians can take a dip in the Velvet Sea, the Caspian Sea, because the city of Baku is the capital of Azerbaijan. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to say. Azerbaijan is your answer. And we didn't fool many of you there. 1,348 of you surviving to the very end here because now you have a chance to win it all. Q12 for the 1,348 left. It all boils down to this. There are $2,500 up for grabs tonight. Who's going to be counting fat stacks and making money move after Q12? In classic literature, which of these comes right after the Telemachiad and the Odyssey? The Iliad, the Nostos, or the Telegony? Getting litty at Q12. Getting lit at Q12. Oh, come on. How did you miss this one? It's so obvious. 
Telemachiad, the Odyssey, and the third thing, these are the three parts of James Joyce's Ulysses on the short list of the greatest books in the English language. They're the Larry Curley and Moe of modernist literature, the Telemachiad, the Odyssey, and the Nostos for the win at Q12. And 242 of you are winning tonight, baby! <laughs> You can put it on the board, yes! 242 surviving a savage Q12. That was the least chosen option. Big ups, what one to Evan. You won this morning, didn't you? $10.33, you're getting that money. 242 people are splitting 2,500. That's $10.33 to Mike Callahan, Jaycoff507, H. Kimla, Adam Lepatina. Adam, you look a little like, eh, like a little nonchalant there. Like, eh, eh, you won money tonight, baby. You beat out 1.1, almost 1.2 million others to win that money. Sun Bruin, you got some money and a whole lot more. I can't be here all night calling you out, but I'm very happy and proud for all of you. And that's all she wrote for tonight, folks. If you liked HQ, please fill out the comment card. Our servers will be coming around shortly to collect them and come back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Yes, we're back here live tomorrow at 3 p.m. and every night at 9 p.m. We do this twice a day during the week, on the weekends at 9. A whole lot of HQ for you. Come on back now, you're here. Until then, I'm Scott Rogowski, your host, signing off saying, I've had a perfectly wonderful evening, but this wasn't it.